All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be checking out Ultra Dynamic Sky plus Oceanology plus this photorealistic landscape that you see here. And basically, what I've gone ahead and done is I've combined all three of these marketplace assets to create what I think is a really nice, realistic environment scene with a beautiful ocean and sky system. Now, these are all paid assets, so they're all for the marketplace. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I'll leave links to them in the description below if you guys are interested though. Now before we get into the video, I just want to tell you real quickly about my multiplayer survival game course. In this course, I teach you how to make a multiplayer Steam survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. In this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree rock or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle, bow, and so much more. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings, and you can upgrade your base from wood to then stone and then to metal. We add a raiding system where you can attack other players and raid their bases for loot. Then we create this open world map that has different biomes, procedural foliage, and each tree, rock, or bush that you see on this map can be harvested for resources. This course was designed with beginners in mind, so if you are new to game development or Unreal Engine, you can take this entire course. I walk you through step by step, and I explain the why behind what we are doing through each lecture. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you will get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you will get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there. So yeah, here we are inside of the map. The map is pretty large, and I'll give you guys sort of the aerial view here in a second. So yeah, I added Ultra Dynamic Sky. It has you know volumetric clouds and all that stuff. And the neat thing about Ultra Dynamic Sky is it comes with a weather system. You can not only change the time of day, but you can also change things like you know add rain or snow or really any sort of weather that you want. So yeah, down here is sort of the coast, and this map has you know more cliffs than it does a coastline. So yeah, as you can see, I can just run around part of the area of this map and just the ultra dynamic sky looks amazing especially with the oceanology infinite ocean so yeah let me give you guys sort of a zoomed out view so if I zoom all the way out you can see how big the map is now there's a little bit of glitching here with the ocean I think that's only when you're in the editor but yeah, I can zoom all the way out and you can see how big this map is and the really neat thing about these you know, photorealistic landscapes is if I select the infinite ocean the oceanology I can hide it and what you're gonna see is this landscape has all of the underwater texture like all the reefs and stuff it's all painted into the landscape so if I reshow the ocean it adds sort of this nice little detail around the coastline so yeah, I can go over here to this you know peninsula hit play and I mean it just absolutely looks stunning this would be perfect to create some sort of game environment. Maybe you could build like a town or something and make this into, you know, Battle Royale Island. Or you could take my survival game course and, you know, use it as the map. So yeah, as you can see here, the ocean looks very nice. Now, Oceanology has like a buoyancy system, so you could set up, you know, boats. And it's a complete infinite ocean, so you could sail off into the distance as far as you want. And it's pretty much just drag and drop. Like all I did to prepare this map with oceanology and ultra dynamic sky was I just deleted all the lighting and the water plane. I just drag and drop the ultra dynamic sky and also the oceanology asset into the level. And it's pretty much already set up. So yeah, the neat thing about ultra dynamic sky, I actually bought this plugin. I actually bought this asset like over three years ago when it really was just the sky dome and day and night cycle so if you select it here you can change things like the time of day so you know you can adjust and add sort of this nice sunset and since I bought this asset they've updated and added so much stuff to it and I think it's only $30 on the marketplace 
So yeah, they added things like, you know, volumetric clouds, a full weather system. So I can show you guys that here in a second, but yeah, you can change and adjust the time of day. And in addition to that, you can animate the time of day. So you can hit a little checkbox to have sort of a day and night cycle. Now to get the weather system, all you have to do, drag in ultra dynamic weather. And we instantly have sort of this overcast and rainy scene. So I'll, let's see, select the ultra dynamic weather. And under the basic controls, you can choose clear skies. So you can see there's no cloud in sight. It's a clear blue sky. You can change this to cloudy and it change all the environment lighting and all that stuff. You can have foggy. So we can't really see that far. And then we have overcast, partly cloudy. I really like this one. It's just showing all the volumetric clouds, and having the sun shine through them. We have rain. We also have rain light, thunderstorm, sand dust. So this is like, I guess, a sandstorm or something like that. Or I guess this one is the dust storm effect. We have snow. And the neat thing about the ultra dynamic sky and weather system, so it both comes in the same pack. And what you can do is you can even modify things like the landscape material, or if you have buildings and things like that, you can modify the material so that the actual weather system will apply snow or rain on certain objects in your environment. So we have snow blizzard and snow light. So yeah, maybe I wanna try and animate the time of day so yeah, we can see the sun change the lighting in the environment. So I have the animate time of day enabled and we can pretty much you know, see the sunset here in the distance. And then it also has a night cycle. So you can see we have stars, the moon is out. That's a, it's pretty fast. So we obviously we could adjust it. But yeah, just a really easy day and night cycle. I also was playing around with the second map, the second island map that comes included. This one has more of a coastline with beaches. So I can go ahead and click play and you can see that we can walk on the beach. And what I really need to do on the sand part of this is add sort of a wet layer of sand. So it actually looks like the water is affecting you know, part of the beach. But yeah, very nice environment. And I kind of just wanted to make, you know, a random video throwing together a couple of Unreal Engine assets and just seeing how it turns out. So if you guys enjoy this type of, you know, video style, and if you want to see me experiment with more different assets and things like that, you know, combining different asset packs to see how it look inside of the engine, let me know your suggestions down in the comments down below. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Check out my multiplayer survival game course, link in the description below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.